We left you last week after arriving in Ackle Island. We checked out the beach and made friends with the locals. This week, we step back in time when Mr D takes me on a mystery tour. We also visit the local aquarium. Join us as we continue to explore this special part of Ireland. It's day two and Mr D is taking me on a mystery tour. We made our first stop and you know how we love a graveyard and Mr D has brought us to a graveyard in Slewbore. What else is here then? There's a deserted village just up here where we're going to go next. Okay. Uh, that village dates back from the medieval times and it was deserted because uh, the um, people have been evicted, the tenants have been evicted during the famine because they couldn't afford the rents. It is thought that the village was occupied during several different stages in history. The most recent period of habitation came to an end in the earliest 20th century when the cottages were used for bullion by the local population. It was thought to be 80 to 90 cottages in this village. As bully houses, they were occupied during the summer months when the cattle were on the countryside grazing. In the winter, the people were returned to their homes. Ackle is thought to be one of the last places in Europe to have practiced this type of settlement. Look at the sheep there, just laying there amongst the old buildings there, minding their own business. The deserted village of Sleevehoor provides a haunting reminder of times past on Ackle Island. It's well worth a visit to reflect on what happened here all those years ago. Just below the deserted village is the ancient cemetery of Sleevemore. Some of the tombstones at the back date back to 12,063 and lots of people from the famine were buried here. Full of local knowledge we decided we needed some light entertainment so off we went and found Ackles only aquarium. Mr. D is above all.
is, uh, we get up quite close. Ooh. Come on, I sweat now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. <sighs> we were feeling rather thirsty after all that fun, so off we went to find the local tea shop. Come to a little coffee shop, see if they've got some coffee. Well, we didn't get a cream tea, but I got like a biscuit cake and million shortbread. Million shortbread and a nice cup of tea. Oh, just what was needed. Yes, lovely. Feeling rather refreshed, we then continued exploring the island. We were heading over to the other side to another beach called Kill Beach. So this is Kill Beach, it's a blue flag beach, it's quite outstanding and beautiful, a lot of movies have been filmed here apparently. Island is connected to mainline island by a bridge which was built in 1887. It has 79.5 miles of coastline. The best of the Ackle Island is on the Atlantic Drive which covers 34 miles of this and this is what you see as we're driving now. Ackle Island is beautiful I would say it's the best kept secret in Ireland. It's so magical. So we are driving around the Atlantic Drive on Ackle Island and just made a pit stop here. How beautiful is that? There's a fisherman just out there. So we've just turned at the bottom of the island to go back up towards the campsite. And this is a little harbour here, and there is our castle. It's a lot calmer around this side, and the tide is well out because of the. You can see the boats are there, and this is Kedownik Castle. Good morning, people. What a lovely day! So, night this September. We're going to leave this beautiful spot and we're going to head inland. We haven't got a clue where we're going. We're just going to look for some sunshine and see where we end up. So, washing's done, van's refuelled, we've got water, etc. all ready to go. And what a lovely little campsite this is. So... It was time for us to leave Ackle and head to our next stop. Join us next week to discover more of Ireland with us. As always, thank you all for watching. Take care guys. Mm -hmm.